This is my inspiration for today's look. I'll be recreating this hair color as well as this makeup look, which was done by my sister Alyssa. So today's video is really exciting. It was a challenge. It was hard. However, stay tuned to the very end because I pulled it together. Let's get started. So I'm starting at my sink because I need to tone this hair. I did a lot of research as to like how to get white hair. And this seems like the most easiest way. And so I pumped some purple shampoo into the bowl. I'm using hot water and I'm just gonna dip the wig multiple times, but I'm using a little as I go because if you put too much purple shampoo, you're gonna turn their hair gray, which you don't want. And so what I did is like put the water in, do two pumps, two or three pumps. I whisk it all up and then I dip it and then I determine like, okay, like, how toned does it look and I just keep on toning and toning and toning until I get that white look but I kind of messed up well you know what it wasn't even my fault okay the bundles and the closure they're from the same company however the hair is different because the bundles were toning just fine but the hair wasn't toning at all not the hair the closure it wasn't taking um the purple shampoo at all which is weird so that was when I first realized that things were not gonna be as easy as I hoped for them to be. So I did this multiple times and I didn't cut it out because I wanted you guys to see just how much I did it and how I did it. You could like speed this part up or skip it because it's, it's pretty repetitive, but I just kept adding purple shampoo, dipping it. I didn't peep until this time around that the closure wasn't taking the shampoo. And so what I did was I separated from the bundles and kind of focused on the bundles. And then I decided to extra tone the closure by itself, if that makes sense. Like I separated it that way I didn't want to like overtone the bundles and not have the closure match up with it. I hope I'm making sense. This took a while. So after dipping it, I took the shampoo directly and I just was really trying to massage it into the freaking closure because it just was not toning. I don't know what that was about, but I was just trying to take my time. This was kind of tricky because, okay, believe it or not, I know like when you guys watch these videos, it seems like very easy, but based on this setup, it's like I have to set up to where you guys can still see, but because of that, my body is angled at a very weird direction to not block the camera. And so this ends up hurting my back so much based on the angle I have to turn in order to make sure you guys can see. And so, man, this will put a strain on your back, especially because I was doing this for a good like 20 minutes, but it takes time. Um, you just want to just, you know, have patience with it. And I noticed that looks can be deceiving because it can look either like a light purple or too dark when it's wet. And so what I did was I rinsed it all off or out. And I made a huge mess, by the way, you can see that. And I went and I blow dried the wig to get an idea of what what I was working with, you know, like how much more did I need to tone it? And so it was pretty toned and I would love to wear this color on its own, but it wasn't white. So I went in and I toned it a little more.
All right, so I toned the wig and this would have been perfect, but here's where I messed up. I decided to watercolor the red part. Now, when I did it, it actually wasn't bad. And it wasn't this that completely destroyed the wig. Well, not destroyed, but it just set me back. What it was, was when I went and I shampooed the hair, the liquid, like the red little droplets from this side got on the other side because red stains so easily. So my bad, my arm was blocking most of this part, but I took my time, I did this so slow, I used a brush to help me get the roots. I was so neat and precise when I did this, but it was when I went to go wash the hair that the red from this side got on the white side. And I was so frustrated. I was like, you know what? I don't know what to even do at this point. It's like, how do you fix that? Once red gets on hair, it's like, it is stained, cause red stains. So I let this air dry, right? And here's what it looked like. You can see that all that red transferred over. And I tried my hardest to, you know, make sure that didn't happen. So to be honest, I could have waited and I should have did this differently, but I don't know if the outcome would have been differently. Um, or different. So I decided to bleach this to try to see if it'll lift the red. Now this is a waste of time because it did not lift the red at all. I'm just showing you guys what I did to show you guys like the overall process. But I tried to bleach it and the red did not move at all. So I went to CVS and I bought this one hair dye, this platinum dye, the name will be down below. And I rinsed this out of course and I decided to put that platinum dye into the hair. Well, no, wait, in hindsight, it does look kind of work. It, it looks a little yellow. Maybe the bleach worked a little bit, but this is what kind of did the trick. And so I put this in there and I let it sit for an hour, okay? Because I'm like, you know what? This has to work. And it's interesting because when it was wet, I thought, wow, this flopped. I suck. But when I blow dried it, it looked like the right color. So, man, like I said earlier, looks can be deceiving because that looks pretty white to me. And so I was really shocked by this, but I was not complaining because I didn't think that it was gonna turn out the right way just based on how things looked when the hair was wet. And so I was able to get rid of that red tone at the bottom of the hair and we were good to go. So although this side was fixed, I decided to take this hair paint wax, and this is like a silver color, but it was like the only thing close to white that I had. And I decided to paint it on the roots just to get an idea of if it'll work or not, just, just to know if I needed to go buy anything else. And that seemed to work, and so you guys are gonna see me apply more of this later, but that is how I fixed those like pinkish looking roots. So let's apply this wig now. All right guys, I am ready to install this wig and just see how it all comes together. I already have my wig fix on. My arm is stained from dyeing this hair. I'm stained. This has been such a process. One tip I can give you is to take your time. Obviously, you won't be filming the process so you won't be in a rush. It's just the way I film these videos, I film the hair part on Thursday and then I do this part Friday the day I post. Typically, I'll already have the wig made before Thursday. That way, Thursday, I can strictly focus on coloring. But last night, I ate a medium pizza to myself and I took a long ass nap because of it. And by the time I woke up, I was so behind. I still hadn't made the wig, so I had to make this wig, which took me about two and a half hours, and that was me gluing it. And then I had to color it, and because I was so like short on time, I decided to watercolor it, which typically speaking for this type of dye job, I would not watercolor it. I do not recommend you watercolor it because it's too much of a risk for the colors to bleed. This is the kind of hair color that you really take your time and you brush that color on, but I was just trying to hurry up because I was already short on time and I was tired. And so learn from me, don't rush things, okay? Take your time and don't wait until the last minute to do things because then you'll end up stressed. And also don't take shortcuts because although me watercoloring this red part, I mean, it was pretty fast, it was pretty simple. If I would have just did it by hand, I would have avoided the red dye bleeding on this side and this morning I had to get up, go to CVS, buy that platinum dye you guys see me put in this to try to correct this side. And so because I was trying to save time, I ended up spending more time working on this wig. So yeah, learn from my mistakes, don't be me, but the show must go on. I cannot miss a posting day and I especially can't miss one of these videos because you guys seem to really like them so I just had to keep it pushing. 
I was getting really, really frustrated. I was starting to think of excuses of like, you know, how can I back out and not do this video? I was supposed to do a blue wig, but if you guys watched, I think it was the lime green hair, my sense of green hair. I mentioned how bad that hair quality was, and I mentioned I had bought two wigs from that company. And so I had dyed the blue wig. Uh, it was supposed to be blue, but I won't tell you which style. I had dyed that hair uh, with that second wig I got from that company, and it is so bad. The quality is so bad. Since I do a lot of hair videos, this company had already emailed me before, and so I emailed them like, I need a refund. Like, I don't care. Like, I was really mad. And they were trying to bribe me to like delete my Amazon review and to delete my commentary about their company in order to get a, ref a refund. And I'm like, girl, like, no. <laughs> like, what you, why should I have to freaking hide the truth in order to get my money back when you guys sold me bad hair? I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, you guys are really trying to bribe me. They're like, oh, we're in the middle of a pandemic. You know, money's bad. And I literally said to them, I said, if, it's money, if, if money's bad and someone spends their hard earned money on your stuff, why would you give that quality? You talking about money's bad because it's a pandemic. Exactly, you're right. <laughs> so if someone's about to spend money on hair during a the pandemic, they should get good quality hair. So I was really upset about that. But I got my refund and they're still emailing me, wanting me to take down my review. But yeah, no, that's not fair. I want to call Amazon and report them for that. Cause it's like, when I ordered the wigs from them, I ordered it because they had fairly good Amazon reviews, but now that I know that they're kind of almost like doctoring their reviews and telling people to delete the bad ones if they want their money back, it's like, how can you trust that? So yeah, that's why I didn't do the blue this week. Because in my last video I said, you know, I gave you guys a hint, I said think blue. But that wig, I was like, yeah, no. The quality, uh, I wish I could show you guys. It's on my balcony, though, and I'm too lazy. I'll get it. But man, so I decided to do this. Okay, I'm done talking guys' ears off. I need to straighten this because right now it's just blow dried. But you know what? I'm going to glue it down first. And I still need to figure out a way to like fix these roots. It doesn't look, it doesn't look that bad on camera actually. But in real life, I could see some of the red and how it transferred over. So I at least want to fix that or show you guys ways to fix that in case you mess up like I did. Okay, I took the wig off because I need to tint my lace. Now, I've been using this Airbrush Lex stuff. But I've been using the medium glow and it seems to be a little too dark. So I'm going to try the light glow. And before I commit to the entire thing, I'm going to put it in the back just to see what it looks like. I don't want to put on the whole entire thing and it'd be too dark. Oh, this looks a little lighter. This should work. Okay. I'm going to do a light coat of that. All right, let's put this back on. Okay, that looks a little better, but I'm definitely going to put some concealer in order to make the part more defined. So I decided that I'm not going to do bangs with this wig, and here's why. If you notice, one, I hardly wear bangs on my wigs or bangs ever. Let me actually work while I talk. And the reason being is that I don't like how it looks on me. Now, I'll like buy a wig that has bangs to try it out, but I don't like to cut my own hair. You know, I don't like to cut hair that I, I bought into bangs. And the only time I've done that is when I butchered the frontal, and that was the only option I had left. But I noticed that with those wigs, I've only worn them like once, and I never wear them again because I simply don't really like bangs. And so, I don't want to like cut this wig for the sake of this video and then never wear it again because I'm not a bang person. So basically I'm just going to style this in a way that you know you still get the essence of the recreation but I want to still be able to wear this wig and I know myself when I cut bangs on this I'm not going to wear this wig again and I don't want this hair to go to waste and I want to you know do a, a style that I know for a fact flatters me so. Hope you don't get mad at that but I spent a lot of money on this hair and I, I don't want to cut bangs into it. Cause you guys will never see me wear this way again if I do that. <laughs> okay, so I put some gel down. It's already drying, so I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna get the blow dry and blow dry that on cool. By the way, if you hear my fan, I apologize. It's really hot. Like it's actually hot. And I need this fan, so I hope you don't. It just dawned on me I don't have my microphone plugged in. I don't know how my audio sounds. Oh my gosh. This ain't all in shambles. I hope my audio sounds okay. 
Because you know when you don't have the microphone, the lens makes that weird clicky sound. Oh. Oh my god. You guys, if my lens is making that clicky sound, I am so sorry. Like, I... My freaking microphone was in my bathroom from when I filmed Wednesday's video, and I didn't even realize that it was not here until now. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna just keep on going, okay? I'm sorry the microphone is plugged back in now, so hopefully the audio sounds better. I'll know if the audio was bad or not once I'm editing this video, but I really hope it wasn't doing that annoying clicky sound because that's annoying. I hate when that happens in the video, so I apologize. I'm gonna keep drying this gel now and try not to get upset. So, I think it's safe to cut the lace. I don't even know where my scissors are. I'm about to start rushing y'all because it is 1.30. Well, 1.28, but it's 1.30. And I gotta post this by 6.30! This might go up late. This is like the most last minute thing I've ever done. I'm usually never this bad. It's all because I ate that pizza. This is what I get for cheating on my diet. Because if it ain't that pizza, I wouldn't have got the itis and knocked out. And I would have been working. But no, I want a brown table. Okay, so I'm cutting this lace off. It's looking good so far. I really hope the rest of this process is just really smooth because I, I can't afford for it not to be. So, that looks good to me. I'm liking this so far. I mean, it's pretty simple. I do see that this piece from this side wants to go to the other side. No, no, no. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly go and straighten this hair out. By the way, people always ask the flat irons I use. I use this one by Babyliss, and then I use this one by Bio Ionic. A lot of people wonder which one I like best. I like them both, however, I do like this one for my wigs. I feel like it just presses it out a little more, but the Bio Ionic one, I feel like it's safer for my natural hair when I do strain it, and it just, um, it's something about it that just seems healthier, although there's no healthy way to put heat on your hair. And so, yeah, um, I'm gonna use this flat iron, and I'm flat iron. I'm starting to say that word right, okay? And I'm going to just strain my hair out, well, the hair out. And then I think what I'm going to do, because I'm gonna do this makeup look, and I think it's so cool because, okay, here's my inspiration for the makeup. Don't mind the hair, okay? We're not doing those things. But my sister did this makeup, so I think it's so cool. And so um, the makeup's pretty simple. You know, she has a pretty like basic beat, so I'm gonna do that off camera. But she has a really nice wing, some liner, and then this little red dot over her eye, which Alyssa let me borrow the little makeup palette that she used for this look. So I have that, I think it's really cool. And so I'll show you guys how I do that, but I'm gonna do my base off camera because I don't know how long this video is going to be. I know I always say that, but this is just a lot of, it, it's shambles. So I think I'll just do my basic base off camera because I always do that and I don't want to get repetitive. And then I'll show you guys how to do like, the liner, the eye, the lips, you know, just the, the main parts of the makeup, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna straighten the hair, do my base, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I straightened the wig and I did my base off camera. I had to take my shirt because it is so hot. And I don't know if I'm like more hot than I typically am because I'm stressed out and I'm trying to rush, but I already did the wing on this eye. And it, I think, I think that because it looks like she's a wing on the other eye, so I'll show you guys how I do that. Now with hers, her wing is like going more in, but we have a different eye shape, so I don't know how I can accomplish that on my eye shape. Like hers is going in and I, yeah, I'm really, really scared to even try to create that on my eye shape. But I know that based on how my look has been going since I decided to do this wig, I'm not gonna test it. So I really wish you guys can see how dirty my filming desk is, how dirty my room is. Imagine trying to work like this, like, uh, I'm so happy it's the weekend, I can take a break. So I'm taking my soft glam palette, and, crap, I didn't mean for that to fall. And her eye is really simple. I should have just asked Alyssa what she did, but I don't know if she would even remember, but there's, I have two photos I'm like referencing. I'm looking at this photo and this photo. So in this photo, you can't really tell she has any eyeshadow on. But when she's looking down, you can see that she has like a very light shadow on her lid and then just some brown. So that's really easy to do. That's right up my alley. So 
I'm just taking my soft glam palette to create that look. I should have did this before I did the liner, but I haven't been thinking that much during the last like 24 hours or so. So now, apply some mascara on this side, get that going before I put my lash on. I still have to do my bronzer, my blush, and all that kind of stuff. And then when I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna decide if I wanna keep the hair straight or add some curls. I'm gonna just decide how I wanna style it. So for the little red circle she has here on her eye, Alyssa used this Ben Eye color wheel and you could see the red she used. Ah, oh, this touched Megan. I'm pretty sure Alyssa scraped it on put on a palette because she's very sanitary, of course. But still, it still counts. So I'm gonna take some of that. And I'm gonna just try to create a circle. It's covering her brows too. Well, no, it's right underneath her brow, so. Let's hope I don't butcher this, man. I'm gonna just go in. Oh, it's, it's not too creamy. It feels like it's very, uh, what's it called? Uh, not. It seems forgiving. What's funny is I was going to attempt to do this with eyeshadow, but Liz was like, why not just use what I used? And I was like, you're right. And so I went and picked it up. Okay, so I like this product. I don't know why I thought it would be like too creamy to work with, but it's like creamy, but not too creamy to work with. I am gonna switch brushes though. Right now I'm just laying like the base of it down with this flat brush. But I need to get a more detailed brush to really create the circle, but so far so good! Are things finally going right for me? What? No way! Really? <laughs> I for sure almost canceled this freaking video. Why are they gonna hate me today? I'm bringing up to my brow and I'm gonna get some red eyeshadow and like color this brow a little red. Well, let's see how it looks once the circle's done. But I think it'll look better if I like, let me just put some of this red in there to see what we would look like. I kind of feel like it would look better if this brow was red. I'm just popping in to say that if you guys ever wonder why I use the same beats, it's because if you do YouTube, then you know it is very hard to find no copyright or non-copyright beats. If you use a beat that is copywritten, you can't monetize your stuff, and I don't spend all this time doing these videos and not know how to get paid. So that's why I just be using these same old beats, because they work. I haven't gotten demonetized yet. They're safe, they're catchy. You guys seem to like them. But that's why I use the same beats, because I mean, it's just the easiest. It's kind of hard doing a, a circle of your eye. Let me let me call Alyssa and make sure this looks good to her. I don't know if it should be bigger or what. Oh, she declined me. She never does this. Alyssa, I need you. What the? F I need you, girl. Oh, she declined me like that. Okay, you know what? Let me put some lashes on. Well, no. I think I need to set this because I can see it creasing a little bit on my lid. Ooh, hold on. She'll call me back. She wouldn't do me like that. That girl pressed a client so fast. I mean, she got her phone in her hand and she declined me. That's cr- I just messed up. Let me shut up. What? Oh, no. That's what she didn't answer. Hmm. She filmed the video and something really went wrong. What? Oh, I'm gonna give her space because she's upset right now and I understand. All right guys, I'm gonna set this circle with a red eyeshadow. I could tell it's creasing and I don't, I don't want that. All right guys, I set the circle. I need to zoom in on the photo. Okay, she has lashes and she has a little black liner. Let's take this black liner.
This looks gonna come together and put lashes on, I just know it. For lips, I'm gonna lightly line with chest on my MAC. Yeah, it's a brown liner. Her lip looks a little corally, so I'm gonna take this NARS gloss. I'm not gonna try to say that name, I'm gonna butcher it. And I'm gonna focus on the bottom of my lip. I'm gonna take this Fenty gloss in the shade Confetti. I have a really glossy look. This looks so good! Okay, lashes. All right guys, put my lashes on. I use Jade by Huda Beauty. Based on her lashes, yeah, they, they look pretty similar in my opinion because hers aren't too dramatic. And so, let's see, what else do I have to do? I'm trying to debate if I wanna curl or keep it straight. Like this straight hair is giving me a moment, you know what I mean? Mm, let's see, let's see. This straight hair is giving me a moment. Imagine this is a bob. I'm gonna cut it though. I know you guys are trying to be cutting all the hair. So I'm not gonna do that to you. This straight hair is giving me a moment, guys. I don't know, I kind of feel like we should keep it straight. Also, we don't have much time. <laughs> like I could, ah, uh, the straight is really giving me my moment right now. What I'm going to do though, which I think will add to this look, let me back up a little bit. I'm just gonna like take my shears and go across the front, just so it lays a little different, you know what I mean? This hair is gonna get all over my legs. So I would want to tuck these back, I think that would look cute, but this is a closure wig, so I can't really do that. Hmm. What I can do is tuck this behind. And do like that, I kinda like how that looks. I do think straight is the best look though, so I'm not gonna change it. Now one more thing we have to do, um, this part, I think the part looks fine. Like I would try to put a lighter concealer in order to make it more defined, but it would make no sense because since this is like white, no lighter concealer is going to be able to contrast that. You know, it just won't, it won't work. So I'm gonna just leave that as is. What I'm gonna do just for my own sanity is take more of this hair paint wax and just paint over the roots just to try to get as white as possible because that's going to bother me. But I am gonna face tune this in my photo, so you heard it here first. I'm a fraud. I'm gonna face tune this. <laughs> Cause it's bothering me, but me doing this actually is making my part look more defined like I want it to look, so I don't even need any light concealer. This is actually working. And this isn't white, it's silver, but I'm not gonna complain. Not at all. Okay. This is doing exactly what I need to do. I'm gonna brush it out too. Have you guys noticed that even when I'm in shambles, somehow things work out for me each time? I think it's because, although like while I'm filming, I might look frustrated, literally half the time, I cut a lot of it out, cause I mean, unless you want the video to be two hours, but I laugh at most of like, not even my mistakes, but when something bad happens, I just laugh at it, cause I'm like, okay, like, I just, I don't let things consume me too much. I don't get too mad at things. Cause if I get mad, it's gonna affect my energy, which would then make things worse. You know, like if if I allow that negative energy to consume me, then everything's gonna turn out bad. And so a lot of times when things are going wrong, I'm just like, like all right now, like come on, let's get together. And I figure it out. Cause man, when something goes wrong and you let it get to you mentally, I feel like that mentality will cause everything else to go wrong and then you'll think, oh my god, everything's going wrong, but it's because of how you're thinking. It's like you're expecting it to go bad. So I try not to uh, let too many of the mistakes or mishaps get to me too much. So occasionally they will. I'm human, but for the most part I got control over my emotions. 
because there's only so much I can do, you know? But this is looking good. I like how that looks. I don't know if you guys do, but I like how it looks. I feel like it gives more definition to the part, which I wanted. And it just looks cleaner to me now. This looks so good. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but if I am, I'll figure it out when I'm editing this video. I think one last thing I'm gonna do is just put some hairspray to set in that color and to make sure there's no flyaways. We don't like those. This will dry. I sprayed a little too close, but I'll dry though. All right guys, I'm gonna find something blue in my closet and then we'll be back to close out this video. All right guys, I put on my blue. I am so happy that I did not give up on this video because man, I made such a mess filming this. My sink is stained. I mean, I can get rid of a bleach, but still it's stained. I'm stained. This happened last night. It did not come off in the shower. I'm stained as hell. My floors are stained. Everything's a mess. But I think, well I know, I did a good job. You know, I feel like I always execute, I always deliver, I always figure out a way and I'm just so happy with how this came out. I am so satisfied. I'm happy I decided to, you know, keep a middle part instead of doing bangs because I like this for myself so much more. If you guys want to see me do a wig with bangs or at least want to tutorial on that, let me know. I just gotta find a wig I don't care about because I'm not gonna cut up one that I do care about. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on Monday.